Well, we're back up in my upstairs uh, studio area, and I have the everything's cured. I left it out in the sun today. We got a little bit of a divot, but no big deal. It's, it's going to be you know ground. Um, also, I super glued a skull, a little resin skull I had laying around in a bits box, a little uh, pewter skull, and then I took a Space Marine helmet and uh, cut off the neck piece that goes into the uh, body of the model, so it looks like it came off someone's. Um, head and um, just laid on the side of the road probably going to do some kind of uh, vegetation or something like that around it right now I was going to use this on the the main display piece I did and the uh, terrain piece for the uh, desert board and forgot about it and put it up on a shelf so I'm going to take this crackle paste I'm going to put it in the uh, road ruts <clears throat> and make it look like it's been uh, like dried out um, like this, you know, desert road just kind of maybe had some water in it at one point, and then the sun came along and cracked and cracked all of it. So um, I'm gonna go get this filled in, then we'll be back and I'll show you what that is. Then we'll come after that and show you what it looks like after it's uh, dried and cured. Thanks for joining. Me. Hey, we're back real quick. I just finished uh, putting it on. I had to change to a smaller spatula or a, uh, like this one, a little plastic art spatula for like mixing paints. And I used my finger, wet it in a little bit of a water head on the side here. Um, I'm going to go wash my hands. It's got a strong ammonia scent to it. Very strange stuff. So we'll see how this uh, does its thing. Then um, hopefully it crackles in the next uh, little while. Then we'll show that to you. Then prime it. Then uh, we're going to paint this thing. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for joining us. I'm just back real quick. I hit it with a hair dryer. It started blistering a little bit. But nothing cracking yet so um i'm gonna let it sit for a while let it do its own thing and if it doesn't crack no big deal I'll just uh I'll maybe look up online if there's some kind of <clears throat> excuse me any kind of uh directions or tips on how to use this stuff it's very there's nothing on the bottle at all so uh that'll be it for right now and uh anything happens i will come back and show it to you thanks for joining me Hey, we're back real quick. It's not crackling. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. I'm going to throw some primer on it. If it doesn't, no big deal. I just thought it added a little bit of interest. You're not going to see much of it anyways. As you can see, this truck takes up most of it. But we'll, we'll have some little greenage, you know, uh, greenage, I guess that's, um, and um, foliage and probably tufts mostly like around this. is like they, someone's helmet got knocked off or they died and their helmet just left in the ground and a couple people just died and their skulls are left on the side of the road so uh that's gonna be it for right now uh we will be back and um um have this thing primed up let's take, do some rattle can some uh probably black primer so i can sort of black on that and build up layers so thanks hey we're back everyone um i'm gonna start with some uh minotaur from badger muddy brown on top of the um black primer I did that has this good solid coverage and this nice even spray of this this is a very obviously black so brown on black to be hard to see but I want to give it a nice dark earth coat a little chip I was going to alternate between different colors also while I'm doing this. Uh, I got the muddy brown. I got some cracked leather. Um, I can read that on there. There we go. And then I'm going to throw a little red in there too. Then I'll come back and do some uh, lighter colors also. Red clay. So I'm going to do this off camera. And then I'll be back. Show you what it is. Then we'll go from there. Thanks. Well, we have a good base coat going. And I changed the colors a little bit. I added some weird stuff for a second and took it out. I did some red clay. Uh, it's okay. It's underneath, but uh, it was mostly muddy brown. You can see these colors here: muddy brown, cracked leather, bark, earth. I can't see all these again. And last but not least, we did some cracked soil. And then now I'm going in with some. Uh, 
Vallejo Model Color Iraqi Sand. And I'm going to do a quick highlight on it. And I'm going to see how it turns out. If I don't like it, I can still knock it back with the airbrush again. But I'm just going to get this up on this. Uh, I'm using a Citadel uh, large dry brush. And just uh, get it cleaned off real quick. And see how that works on here. Yeah, not so bad. I need a little more paint. Let's see here. We'll see how that works. I'm going to work on this some more, then we'll be back and see you in a second. Thanks. Well, it looks like we're done. I added, I took a mud brown and put a really dark line around the bottom of it to give it a kind of, you know, so it is, it's a base. It doesn't look like a piece of dessert, dirt cloud. And then it uh, fades up into uh, all these different colors. And then I did that dry brush of my Draki sand and also, um, uh, Sprayed it with some sand, um, oh, U.S. sand also. Used some uh, Vallejo Air U.S. sand and kind of dusted it. I'm not going to do anything else with the skulls and the helmets. I like that kind of caked on dust look. Like they've been sitting there forever and just, you know, in the ground. And then when we'll have uh, foliage around it, it'll, uh, you know, make it look more natural. So uh, that's going to be it for right now. Uh, we'll come back and glue some stuff on here and then go from there. Thanks for joining